so hello friends in today's lecture we will cover how to train kidney images for adult and young people and system will recognize it with 100% accuracy all right so before going to the coding part i'll just show how to upload the data set so into the kaggle how to upload the data set we just go we will just go to the data set from this part and then to the new data set all right so once we have navigated to the new data set so we will just browse the data set suppose i'm just give the chest x-ray then i'll just give the name of chest x-ray you can see here you can see here that the appropriate link has been already generated kegel.com sachin kumar saxena oblique chest x-ray so this is the beauty of kaggle that concurrently it is going to create the file so then we will browse the file from your pc so in the data set i am having just suppose test so this is the test test set okay so all the images of chest here suppose i am having training set so all the uh, 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 images of training set here suppose i want to show the subset of training and testing under this x-ray folder inside the kaggle so what i will do i will just make it add to make it rar file or gif file you can say then import this gif file import this gif file to our kaggle folder so this kaggle folder not only will the not only will show the x-ray but all the subfolders for training and testing data set if you need binary classification so it will do accordingly so let it be finished by 100% once it's completed by 100% we will select x-ray all right so then the size of the file is 96.92 you can uh, you can import to, uh, up to gbs or 10 gbs file so then it will store the then it will store your own data set and you want to make it publicly available for others for researchers for phd holders or students or academicians then you can make it private from here toggle to change the public so i want to use it for private for my own purpose only no one can use because i have extracted this data from different hospital local hospital so that i don't want to available it publicly so now i'll create this file okay so if it has already already uh, uh, exist so i'll just change the name now it will upload to my personal kaggle account so we are processing our data so it is going to upload and it will take few minutes to go to data set once it's retrieved or once it's uploaded on your own account you can use it anywhere anytime you can import in any program as many of as many as as many of time you can use it all right so success your data set was uploaded now go to data set and here we will have all these data set all right now test we can have all the test x-rays next the train i can have all the train data set here so how many images are there 118 and for training i'm having how many images I can I am having 2570 on my card 
so i am going to import not these files i just showcase how to upload the file it is just x-ray but we will be working on kidneys so here i have kidney images all right so so i have already imported my data set in this file so how to import in your notebook or in your program so just go to the add data you can see here this one so you just go to the add data click on that and just find your data set and just go to select the file which you want to import so i'll just add so this data set kidney data set will be imported in my notebook so here i have already imported kidney data set this is having kidney data set then testing adult and then training is having two folders so it is going to show the entire tree of the data set all right i don't want to use the training images for the testing purpose this is the reason i have created two new folders adult and young under testing folder so now i am going to import all these library come to let's walk through the coding part so i have already imported these files here then i will use one hot one hot encoder zero is for adult and young is for one is for young okay for the binary classification then i will use three files data pass and results to import all these adult files all right so how to copy this adult file i just click on this adult all right don't click on that but rather go move your cursor and copy file path so it will copy you can copy it here i just control v all right so it will give the copy path path link of your data set this time i want to include adult images so i have included it here so in the next block of the code i just include young Im kidney images kidney images of young patients so for that i'll just include give the address of young folder all right then i will shape the array for the set so this time i'm having this this time i'm having this 516 all right so what i will do i will just give the 516 here also right so so this is how we just done the we just import the file all right then i will convert all these three why right? three is here in dimension because rgb colored images are there and i would convert into the two dimension or simply black and white then i will train the data set and split into different parts data and the shuffle is true randomly i will select it and random state zero then i'll train the model for the given data set and it will going to give the model name sequential one and and give the other parameters also how many convolution dropout is there and how how many uh flatters part part what is the dimension of flatter layer what is the dimension of dense part and so on so then i'll going to shape white train what is the shape of the training data set then i'm going to train the history part so it will run as far as possible we have given the epochs so if if epochs is 30 so it will give to the range of 30 only so uh, in the 30 iteration will be covered here all right so uh, in in each iteration it will reduce the uh, means the uh, error error all right so we can see that the error has been reduced in the next iteration 
and also the loss function also in, uh, reduced and then the different different sections are reduced for the particular training and testing data set images it is going to train the images all right so meanwhile we can understand how many layers it is going to import it is having kernel size 2 comma 2 and one two convolutional two dimensional layer second it is having batch normalization it is using batch normalization function to to train or to test the particular images then max pooling so let's see what is the particular architecture of images so cnn deep learning right so what is the deep learning okay so here we have here we have one convolutional layer second convolutional layer then max pooling then we are having then we are having max pooling fully connected and then fully collected in last so in the same way it is having the best normalization max pooling and the here we can see dense and the drop off all right so this is the particular name so how many epochs have been covered as of now nine epochs have been covered remaining 21 epochs will execute so in the in the meanwhile it will it, it will reduce the value function all right and the max pooling also will be done and convolution will perform in the and every time it is going to reduce the channel and one channels and 24 cross 24 and one and then 12 comma 12 8 comma 8 and 4 comma 4 output and what is the output we can define so this is the flatten part all right so uh, if we talk about the vg60 vgg16 then we can have the following diagram all right so this is the image as an input and it is going to import in the first layer and then to the second layer and pass to the flattened size this is max pulling so max pulling can we have average pulling we can have in uh, inverse pulling and then we will have fully connected plus relu dimension eventually soft max will be there all right so we have covered 15 epochs here so let's see how many covers how many epochs what would be the last value and what will be the eventual function okay so this is the vgg16 let's see what is the difference between vgg16 and 19 meanwhile our system is going to train so this is the vgg19 image and it will have the different sections of relu then average pooling it is using average pooling here then convolution layer then unsampling and the number of channels height and width all right so three channels are there why three channels because rgb is using three channels then 64 then the nc1 then one and one all right so this is how vgg16 b g g this is how vgg19 works right okay so what is the this figure this is of vgg16 b g g 16 deep learning method
all right let's see how many epochs it has been covered it has been 24 epochs and every time it is going to reduce the error you error you can say here so this is going to reduce the loss function also 0 0.0023 0 0076015 and so on right so only two epochs have been remaining then we will move forward to the validation part how testing and validation is going to perform inside the system inside the model which we have trained in using deep learning all right so this last epoch will have the best induction then we can validate from upper right and the loss value function so in between loss and value we can have the particular function all right so this is done with the 30 epochs excellent work and here we can see the test and validation part which is almost equivalent so now we are going to define one new names one fu function with the number if number is equal to equal to zero it's a adult kidney maze else it is of young kidney maze okay so for testing purpose we j will just give any image from the testing folder okay so i'm just copy any any file from this testing folder so from where from adult so let's see what would be the output here name is not defined all right there might be some error where is name all right let's see let's check one another image control V so name names is not defined all right oh I'm sorry I didn't run this code here so this name is going to run in order to define the function so then only it will recognize in in the next piece of code okay i am going to run this code again so that it will be successfully run try to run this code yes it runs successfully now 100 percent confidence it is adult image all right from where i have taken from the adult excellent so let's take from young image any young image from the testing folder make sure i'm taking from testing but i train the model from training folder so these images are not taken from testing folder all right this is from testing all right so let's let's check it from this time this is adult image let's take it from the i have taken it from adult so i just copy it here yes it is going to 100 percent confident it is adult kidney image so all right this is going to give the 100 percent confidence this is the adult kidney image and also going to improve improve the specific team also this is how we train and test the particular image so i will uh, i'll give the link in the message box and the comment and like and share thank you very much